So, today I'm drawing a memory transfer machine. This one has a couple of wires, well, a lot of wires and electrodes attached to the top, various compartments, and it's a medium-sized head that I drew, and there's also, you can see later on, that there's a feeding tube that has liquid and maybe some kind of food. But that's the main idea for this page and this drawing. You can interpret it in a lot of different ways, and how I see it is permanent distraction. That's what this drawing represents. It's this guy that has wires. He's getting fed constant streams of information, and that's kind of how everyone is now with using phones, computers, and TV. We're constantly distracted, and there's no time for just being bored, you know? 100, 200 years ago, people were fine with being bored, and now we've kind of trained ourselves to to hate being bored. I mean, I feel like being bored used to be a normal thing, but now if you're bored, you just want to jump out of a window or something. But it's an issue, and that's kind of what this drawing represents. It's permanent distraction, permanent being occupied all of the time. So I think it's a good concept, a good drawing. I've made a couple of these with wires and things tangled, more of a, a VR headset look. It's kind of like taking a red pill or a blue pill where you're constantly sedated and you don't know what's actually going on in the outside world. I feel like technology is extremely overstimulating and human beings were not built for this really constantly being entertained and doing and everything it's sort of it's similar to taking a pill where you're sedated but it's self-induced for the most part but it's not i wouldn't say it's the people's fault it's really the big tech tech companies and the people behind you know doing all of that but you know tech companies putting hundreds of millions of dollars into research and seeing how to make social media as addicting as possible to ruin all of our brains, you know, the no normal everyday stuff, right? And I think subconsciously that's why I've moved into the cyberpunk style. That's what this theme, this art renaissance that I've tried to create is all about, okay? It's about putting the information out there, putting the cyberpunk dystopia but it doesn't always have to be like that. It can be a utopia sometimes. But what do I know? I'm just an artist, okay? I like making funny pictures and trying to get an image out of a sort of caricature of what technology and social media is by making these drawings sometimes. And sometimes I like making other things, but this is one of those drawings where I'm putting an image of what humanity is going in towards. Oh, and the reason that I didn't really film that much and the video was short is because I accidentally deleted a lot of the footage on accident, so yeah, it is what it is.